What's going on guys, T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of the Black Ops 3 Gun Guide. This is a series to go through all the weapons in the game. I'll break them down for you guys in three minutes or less, giving you guys only the most important stats, tips, and recommended class setups to help you guys do better in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Now, uh, this is gonna be episode three, and we are gonna be taking a look at the M8A7 assault rifle. This thing is absolutely amazing, and let's not waste any more time. Here we go, guys. All right, so starting off with the iron sights, they're really not that great. Like typically, I recommend running some sort of optic on this thing. They're not the worst in the world. It's just like the whole point of this weapon is to be able to be super accurate at medium to long ranges. And you can see here with like the full circle and the trident in the middle and stuff like that, it kind of works against you. Like it's contradicting the point of this weapon. So definitely run some sort of like reflex sight or elo sight or something like that. Next up, talking about the damage, this is where this thing shines and it's actually super, super simple. So up close from zero to 42 meters, this gun does 30 damage per bullet that hits. Farther away from 42 meters plus, it does 22 damage per bullet that hits, which means that this weapon is gonna be a four to five shot kill no matter where you are on the map. So it's super simple to know just about how many shots it's gonna take, take somebody down. And uh, also on top of that, as I'm sure you guys know, this weapon is a four round burst assault rifle. So that means that as long as your shots are on target, usually you're gonna put somebody down in two bursts or less. Sometimes it'll take three if they're like flying through the air or while running or stuff like that. You have a couple bullets of the burst missed, but uh, typically it's gonna be two shots or less because the burst is so fast. You guys can see here, it shoots at 1,154 RPM, which is one of the fastest shooting weapons in the game. Now, of course, there is a delay in between bursts, so technically that's not like the actual overtime rate of fire, but the actual rate of the burst fire is at 1154 RPM, which is insane and that uh, helps attribute to those two or one burst kills. Now, uh, anyway, moving on, let's talk about accuracy. This is another place where this thing really, really shines. It's just about as good as you can get apart from a sniper rifle. I mean, you guys can see right here, the thing barely moves. And uh, one little note I wanna make is I see a lot of people running grip on their M8s and uh, it's something you might wanna rethink. So check this out. On the left is a recoil plot for M8 with nothing on it. On the right is a recoil plot for the M8 with grip on it. And as you guys can see, yes, grip does make the recoil pattern a little bit smaller, but is it really worth it? Most of the time, no, unless you're at super, super long distances. So save that, create a class point, use it on a different attachment or a different perk or something like that. Next up, talking about the magazine size, 32 rounds in normal mag, 44 with extended mags, and then finally reload speed is about average for the assault rifles. Two seconds if you have any ammo left in your magazine, 2.7 seconds if you run it all the way dry. Now, moving on to the final part, what do I like on this weapon? What are my like class setup suggestions? Well, of course, I like any type of sight on it. Reflex sight, elo sight, both work. Uh, also, quick draw is fantastic for being able to aim down sight quickly and get your shots on target. This isn't really that good of a spray weapon, so I recommend trying to aim down sight as much as you can. Uh, stock is also very good for being able to move around and strafe and dodge shots while you're aiming down sight. And then finally, long barrel is a fantastic fantastic way to increase that four shot kill range so you can get more one bursts and uh, typically I run all of those attachments together so some sort of optic quick draw stock and long barrel that's my big tip for you guys so uh, yeah there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys later leave comments with which weapon you guys want to see in the next episode of this series and uh, check out these two videos on screen if you haven't seen them yet thanks for watching guys peace out that's a six six and a kick for that SOB